Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you tonight, finally, for a movie review you've been waiting for. And I did hint that I was going to do it tonight. And this is for the new Spider-Man No Way Home movie review that I'm going to be reviewing for you guys tonight. So I'm going to discuss what I watched for this about two hour and technically 20 minutes. Because... The, well, it's two and a half hours, I should say. So it is a little lengthy, like two hours and 28 minutes. So I'll let you know what I th really thought of this movie. So let's dive into this review. Now this stars Tom Holland, Zendaya, Benedict Cumberbatch uh, is in this movie, played as plays as Doctor Strange. And apparently in the last film... Mysterio revealed that Spider-Man is Peter Parker and it's caused a lot of controversy with other people wanting to go after Spider-Man in this film and saying that he killed Mysterio and he's the villain and all that, that Spider-Man's the villain. But then, if you've seen the trailer, you know that Spider-Man, uh, Peter Parker, Tom Holland's character in the movie goes to Doctor Strange and asks if he can uh, get it reversed to where people don't know that he's Spider-Man except for people he knows that want to know about his identity. Uh, but yeah, it's shifted. The spell shifted, but not in a great way. <laughs> As you can see, they have all the old uh, actors who played. There's Green Goblin. There's Doc Ock. Um, Sandman. And uh, then there's Electro. And the Lizard Guy, I guess you could say. Uh, I can't remember his name, but pretty much, uh, after that, yeah, uh, I really enjoyed this movie a lot. This was one of the best movies this year, and I will definitely own this movie for sure. I'm very glad I got to watch this movie, because... Yeah, they even bring back Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield later in the movie, I should say. I don't want to give away too much spoilers, but you'll be surprised with how the outcome of the ending and the way it ends. And it ends in a pretty solid way to where... A pretty good way, I guess you could say, to where it closes out the Spider-Man trilogy for Tom Holland's series, for Tom Holland's movies for Spider-Man. And I really enjoyed him as the Spider-Man that he was playing for the past four years, I believe. So they did a very good job on this movie. This was a well-done movie. So overall, I think Spider-Man No Way Home, great movie. You'll definitely be seeing a spoiler talk on it uh, in the coming days. I don't know when. Most likely next week, I think. Or when I get back from my vacation. Uh, but if not, I'll just let you guys go see it for yourself and see what you think of it. But for a score for me... I'm going to give Spider-Man No Way Home a 9.5 out of 10. Very awesome movie. Like I said, highly recommend you check this movie out. It's better than Matrix Resurrections. That's for fuck, damn fucking sure or whatever. <laughs> I'm trying to rant a little. And I do apologize for ranting in those worst movies of 2021 videos and also the new Matrix Resurrections movie review. I just... I was not that happy with the outcome of those movies. Of that movie, I should say, particularly. 
And yeah, um, this was one of my favorite movies this year, so it's going to be on my best movies of 2021. And that video is starting next Thursday, I believe. So definitely tune in for that. So comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of the Spider-Man No Way Home movie, if you've seen it. And it took me a little bit to watch this movie. I was supposed to go see it in theaters, but I had to watch it online, unfortunately, due to the fact that I had to cancel my ticket due to holiday plans and going on a trip uh, just to go see my mom's friend. So it's going to be a busy uh, next few days, I guess you could say. So, yeah. Um... If you did enjoy this movie review for Spider-Man No Way Home, I did the best I could to make it as good as possible. Comment below and let me know your thoughts on it. Tap like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can to support the channel. They do show some end credit scenes. And I'm not going to spoil what it is. You have to watch it for yourself to see what you think of the end credit scenes. But they were pretty good end credit scenes. That's all I can say. But, uh, I don't know if I want to do a spoiler review, honestly. Um, because that may have to wait a bit to see if I'm going to watch it again or not. Because I really do want to watch this movie again. But I kind of want to wait till DVD release date. And that's in March, unfortunately. So, I will return to you for... I think I'm going to be doing a special video tomorrow on what I'm going to be doing for the next, for Christmas and Christmas Eve and all that. Um, I think I'm going to be home Christmas Eve. I'm not sure. Uh, i got to see what I'm doing that day. And then Christmas Day, I'm going to be somewhere else, so I won't be at my laptop to do videos. So, yeah. But I hope you enjoyed this Spider-Man No Way Home movie review. Sorry for my yawning in this video a few times. I did the best I could to make this review as great as possible. Uh, so stay safe, guys. Take care. And as always, I will see you in my next review.